Hi, my name is Samantha Samalimo. I am a PhD student at Rutgers University um, studying oceanography under Dr. Josh Kohut. And my research involves looking at long-term trends of commercial fish species over space and time on the coast of New Jersey. So New Jersey specifically has an offshore wind energy goal of 11,000 megawatts by 2040. And the New Jersey is also home to many different commercial fish species including the spiny dogfish, the summer flounder, striped bass, and the smooth dogfish. Um, the smooth dogfish aren't commercially regulated, but they are recreational, so um, they are equally as important. And the goal of my research is to really assess the impact of offshore wind on commercial fish species in the mid-Atlantic bite. So to do this, I am using the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection's um, Ocean Bottom Trawl Survey, and it's sampled five times a year, and the data set is 30 years long, so I'll be focusing on 1990 to 2019. And this middle map right here, all these little dots, are all of the survey start locations over the past 30 years. And these little blue areas are our offshore wind release areas. So as you can see, there's a lot of trawls occurring in this small space. Um, and we have lots of data. So I'll be looking at decadal trends of species abundance and biomass, um, and just kind of looking to see what um, fish are connected to certain oceanographic features, like bottom temperature or stratification in the water column, and seeing how those have changed over space and time. Um, and I will eventually look at seasonal trends, so how the summers are different, how the falls are different, how these species change over the seasons. And just looking at some preliminary data and preliminary results, we can see that these species vary over time and they have certain uh, temperature preferences. So this little map inset over here, we have year on the horizontal axis and the median number of fish caught on the vertical axis. And the purpose of using median was to avoid um, bias towards if the trawl went through a school of fish. So that's why we chose that. And as you can see, there we have those variations, but why do we have those variations? So then the thought is to look at oceanographic features like bottom temperature um, to see are those changing over time? Do species have specific preferences to bottom temperature? So on our horizontal axes, we have bottom temperature bins. In our vertical axes, we have a cumulative total number of fish caught over the 30 year span. And we again see that there are certain um, temperature preferences, but are those changing? What is the reason for them? And in future, I hope to identify critical oceanographic habitat features that overlap with um, offshore wind lease areas and then analyze all these long-term trends, um, both temporally and then seasonally as well.